Now we got a question from Josh. In regards to programming, if your specific program reads three sets of eight, is the reader doing any warm-up sets to these exercises beforehand, besides the warm-up mobility section you provide? Also, is the reader picking the same weight for the three sets, or are they ascending weights as they go up? You know, the answer to that, Josh, is going to be weird. The answer is yes to everything you just said. Um, when I do three sets of eight, I do what you said basically both both ways. So very often, okay, so I've done my general warm-up, and the lift, for example, is overhead squats, three sets of eight, with one minute rest. I don't do any warm-ups. Uh, I use that first set to warm up. It only has one minute rest in between when I'm doing it this way. Second set, get the eight reps in, put the weight down. And finally, the last set, still with just that one minute interval of rest, then I go boom, 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 and get the last set. Uh, personally, I think that's the best way to do it. But you can also to ramp it up. Uh, if you read my work, uh, I, have a couple of, I have a couple of ways I address this. One is in classical conditioning in, in uh, 10 exercises and um, I think we're going to make sure that gets put up on the site very soon. And I also have another one called the DeLorme Protocol. And I'll make sure that gets up on the site too, okay? Um, and basically with that one, your first set, and in this, here's, but the problem is going to be this, Josh, straight up. You know, when I say, if I'm benching 400 for eight and I say 50%, that means I'm doing a set of 200 for eight. When I jump to 75% for eight, that's 300. And when I go to 400 for eight, with that's that's a heavy set. So yeah, but if if you're pressing 40 pounds, you're going to be doing 20 for eight. And now you just have to. So the problem comes back to something I've, I've addressed many times, and that's the whole problem with percentages and what do you mean by going up in weight. Josh, I think there's great value in also having logical jumps. That's one of the reasons I like the kettlebells for overhead presses. Like, for example, just pretend with you, Josh, you're going to do the 20K, a set of eight, jump to the 24K for a set of eight. Your last set's 28K for a set of eight. To me, that's much better than 50% and 75% when you have those natural progressions. If you're using machines... Uh, for your presses and pulls and some of the other stuff, you probably can go right in and do three sets of eight with the same load, or, you know, it's very simple, or do the pin selections. So very simply, both of your, your options are correct. Um, maybe for you, you might want to experiment a little bit with it. Uh, for me, Three sets of eight, one minute rest, same weight, for whatever reason, is my is my perfect wheelhouse. I've done it the other ways, and I'll try to get those programs up as soon as I can. Uh, but for me, that's best for me. You might might like the other way. I think the key is that on the third set, you are finishing um, with with a high level of intensity. 